the official numbers for world population released by the United Nations, as of now, have just surpassed 8 billion people living on Earth. In 1800, there were only 900 million members of the human family spread across the world, raising to 1.65 billion in 1900, and skyrocketing to nearly 7 billion in the year 2000. Now, in 2023, we have allegedly just passed the 8 billion mark, with UN predictions claiming these statistics will continue to rise until reaching a whopping 11 billion at the turn of the next century. Given past failures and the many lies spewed by the UN during recent world events, however, it is fair and justified to remain skeptical of such statistics and to do some independent investigation before blindly believing. By collecting official statistics and doing your own math, it is difficult to find a way for these numbers to add up. For example, India supposedly has a countrywide population of well over 1.4 billion citizens. But when practical calculations are made using the UN's own numbers, how they could possibly conclude such a high figure is clear as mud. Taking their official figures of populations from the largest 300 cities in India, from 12.4 million in the biggest city Mumbai, to just over 100,000 in the 300th placed city of Aurangabad, and adding them all together, that barely accounts for 200 million of this supposed 1.4 billion. That means we are meant to believe that the other unaccounted for 1.2 billion Indians are somehow spread out across tiny towns, villages, and the countryside? If all the 300 places with the largest populations in India taken together only account for 200 million people, it is statistically and geographically impossible for there to be another seven times this number mysteriously hiding out in the remaining small towns and villages with populations all lower than a hundred thousand. A similar situation occurs when adding up the official figures for the entire world's 300 most populated cities. Taking the UN's own official statistics, from 24.1 million in the world's largest city of Shanghai, China, to only 361,000 people in the 300th largest city of Beirut, Lebanon, the combined figures only come out to approximately 1 billion people. Even after adding all the statistics calculated for surrounding metropolitan and suburban housing areas around each city, the total only amounts to around 1.5 billion. Where are these other alleged 6.5 billion people hiding? If the world's largest urban and suburban populations combined only total 1.5 billion, are we honestly meant to believe there are quadruple this number living in rural areas? Being generous, independent analysts have estimated at most another billion people could possibly be spread out across the world's rural countrysides, still putting the actual number well below three billion. The likely reason for these exaggerated statistics is that governments are incentivized to lie about population figures in order to collect more money for social programs. Then, by raising population figures to shocking levels, fear is created in the minds of the masses, and they are even more easily able to control and sell us on expensive, enslaving solutions. This hoax has resulted in billions of dollars spent fighting the phantom of so-called overpopulation, and led to many inhumane population control programs. In reality, however, if everyone were all squeezed into a population density of 27,000 per square mile, which is comparable to New York City, 8 billion people would only fill up the state of Texas, leaving the entire rest of the world uninhabited. Thus, the idea that Earth is dangerously overpopulated and governments need to take drastic measures to combat the issue is another paper tiger attempting to scare us into submission. As Walter Williams wrote, the United Nations Population Fund has helped governments deny women the right to choose the number and spacing of their children. Overpopulation concerns led China to enact a brutal one-child policy. Forced sterilization is a method of population control in some countries. 
nearly a quarter million Peruvian women were sterilized. Our government, through the UN Population Fund, is involved in population moderation programs around the world, including in India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nigeria, Mexico, Indonesia, Brazil, the Philippines, Thailand, Egypt, Turkey, Ethiopia, and Colombia. The greatest threat to mankind's prosperity is government, not population growth. For example, Zimbabwe was agriculturally rich, but with government interference, was reduced to the brink of mass starvation. Any country faced with massive government interference can be brought to starvation. Blaming poverty on overpopulation not only lets governments off the hook, but also encourages the enactment of harmful, inhumane policies. Today's poverty has little to do with overpopulation. The most commonly held characteristics of non-poor countries are greater personal liberty, private property rights, the rule of law, and an economic system closer to capitalism than to communism. That is the recipe for prosperity.